Hey everybody, Smoot here. As you know, I'm doing all these stupid laws of the world. But I'm going to change it up here just a little bit. Just kind of throw a break in there for you guys so you kind of don't get too fucking bored and shut me down here or something. So we're going to switch it over to uh, weird news for just a few minutes. Okay, this one here is going to be a good one, I think. The heaviest man in the world is rushed to hospital. Wednesday, 21st October, 2009. It's old, so it's old news, but hey, it's new to us, right? Today, a 70 stone Ipish, Ipswich man is facing life saving surgery. Because of his size, a military Chinook helicopter had to be employed to haul the patient to the hospital in Sussex. <laughs> Big motherfucker, they needed a helicopter. <laughs> uh, the man has been named as Paul Mason, 48, who experts believe could be the world's heaviest man. Big son of a bitch. In the last three years, it is believed that Paul has risen from a slimish 50 stone to a super obese 70 stone. Now, I don't know what the fuck a stone weighs, but <laughs> drop it on your foot, you'll find out, I'm sure. In 2002, when he needed hospital treatment, Mr. Mason had, most embarrassingly, had to be taken from his house by forklift through the window, through a window which had to be opened up and cut, removed. It is understood that a special drip has been developed as Mr. Mason must be intravenously drip fed one hamburger a minute to keep him alive. Without the scientific development, fat people like Mr. Mason would die within hours. So for every minute that that son of a bitch is alive, they're dripping a full hamburger into his veins. Hmm. Couple beer? That'd be alright. Uh, Dr. Kill a lot. <laughs> kill a lot. Dr. Kill a lot. I kid you not. Uh, kill me, fuck. Who helped develop the burger feeder told us when you're super duper obese you need a lot of carbohydrates and you need them fast. There's no way just ordinary eating can deliver these to the bloodstream. The only way to get these fats right into the blood is through this drip method. Holy frick. So they're just fucking injecting fat into this guy's arm. No wonder the fucker's fat. The new burger feeder does just that. Burger after burger gets injected straight into the arteries. My Christ. Oof. I believe as the world populations get fatter and fatter, there will be an ever-increasing demand for the burger feeder. We can keep the fatties alive. All we need to do is design a bed that will hold their weight. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Shooting up, fucking injecting. Like, I mean, that was supposed to be for heroin and cocaine, not fucking hamburgers. Oh, yeah, fucking, I'm going to mainline a couple of Big Macs, man. <laughs> but anyways, that's weird news uh, right off the internet. I just read it for you. Uh, heaviest man in the world. <laughs> Got a drip tube dripping him a fucking hamburger a minute. What will they think of next, eh? <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy that one. Uh, I'm going to change some of this shit up here to keep you guys interested, hopefully. If not, hey, fuck, don't watch. I don't give a fuck. Somebody will click on it somewhere. But anyways, weird news for you. Smooth out.